laser bullet here and I'm building a new PC. So I thought I would make a couple short videos detailing the build process and um, showing you the components in part one. And in part two, which I will show you tomorrow, we will actually put this beast together. Rest assured, I hemmed and hawed about every single component here. I uh, did my research and compared prices and I do believe I found exactly what I was looking for that fit my budget and my computing needs and my simulation needs. So yeah, here we go. Let me show you what's going on. Okay, first let's talk about the case. Uh, this here is the Corsair Carbide Series Spec Delta Mid Tower PC case. Uh, I chose this because uh, I thought it looked really cool and uh, Corsair makes good stuff and uh, it was on sale. So I got it at a good price and it uh, has everything I need. You can see uh, the front panel here. I don't know if you can see inside, but the front of it has three fans that actually have RGB lighting in there, and uh, so they'll look pretty cool when they're all spun up. Back of it has an exhaust fan going on, so that's all built into the case. Uh, let's see here, over on the side, you'll see a nice clear tempered glass window on the side, so we'll be able to see inside everything really nice. Um, it's got a couple. USB ports on the top, along with the power button and all that good stuff. And the other side over here, uh, there is a compartment where you can stow all the cables and all that good stuff. So uh, the inside of the PC should look nice and clean. And um, yeah, the Carbide Corsair. Now for the motherboard. I chose the Aorus H370 Wi-Fi motherboard. Um, this was at a good price. It has all the bells and whistles that I'm looking for. It includes a couple M.2 slots and all the bells and whistles. And here is the motherboard out of the box. Uh, it's a very nice looking piece of machinery here. Uh, you can see it's got four expansion slots for RAM. It's got the 300 series chipset. Uh, that'll be necessary for the Intel i7 processor I bought. A couple PCIe Express slots going on. Of course, it has the correct socket for my Intel processor, 8th generation. Um, there's a few RGB lights on here, so it should light up kind of neat when it's all set. Um, it has a couple M.2 slots right here and right here. Uh, this one actually has a heat sink on it, which is nice. I'm going to be using that for my main boot drive. Um, yeah, there we go. Got a nice looking motherboard. We have the Cooler Master 750 watt bronze rated power supply. Um, this came at a good price. It had some good reviews going on. It has plenty of power with 750 watts. And one of the things I like the most about it is it is modular. You see here, uh, you only have to plug in the cables that you're gonna be needing. And that's very good for me because this PC is gonna be very largely um, solid state. I'm not going to have any mechanical spin drives in here. There's not going to be any moving parts. As a matter of fact, the only parts of this entire build that are not solid state are the fans that are included in the case. So um, this could be very nice. It's going to keep everything clean inside. I'm only going to have to plug in one cable. So that'll be good. Um, and moving on. Next up is the processor. I chose the Intel i7 8700. Um, I didn't get the 8700K, which is suitable for overclocking, and I got this uh, regular instead. I don't have any use for overclocking. I think this will work just fine. It's a huge upgrade for me. Um, the nice thing about getting the non-overclocked version is it comes with its own fan and heatsink. So I didn't have to worry about getting a fan and heatsink that's already in the box. Um, it's an 8th generation processor. It uh, six cores, uh, 12 threads, very nice, very fast, and uh, yeah, it's a pretty nice little processor there. That should work just fine. Here are the SSDs I will be installing. Um, they're not your typical spin drives. Uh, these are SSD, but more than that, these are compatible with M.2 slots on a motherboard, which mine has two of, of course. Um, these are the NVMe PCIe M.2 type, which means that um, they are super high speed, um, quicker than even a regular SSD drive, which is already pretty high speed. Um, oddly enough, you'll see uh, I have a one terabyte card and a half a terabyte card. Half a terabyte card comes in this giant box, which is a little weird, but whatever. 
Um, I'm going to be using the one terabyte card for my boot system. Um, it'll have windows on there and all this kind of stuff. And I'm also going to make it my main drive. Um, the reasons are I want to put all of my games, applications, um, all of my video editing software, any simulators I have. I'm going to have this all in the one terabyte drive. And um, the other one I'm going to use for storage drive. Um, that'll be pictures and screenshots and videos and music and uh, downloads and things like that. Just all the other stuff that clutters up the machine. Um, the reason I'm doing it this way is my motherboard has two M.2 slots. One of them has a 32 gigabyte transfer speed. The other one has a 16 gigabyte transfer speed. Um, I'm going to put the large card and the 32 transfer speed and then have all my applications running off of that. Another reason why I'm going to be using the one terabyte large drive for my main gaming and applications and boot drive and all that kind of stuff is because uh, the way SSDs work, the solid state drives, um, the individual sectors can only be written to and read from a certain number of times uh, before they start breaking down and um, eventually your SSD will be useless. Um, so the larger the hard drive you have, the more empty space you have, the longer the component will last. So with a full terabyte, um, this thing should give me many, many years of good service. And uh, yeah, there you go. Got myself some neat little rocket speed Sambrant uh, SSD solid state drives. Next comes the RAM. Uh, I bought myself a couple 16 gigabyte sticks of Vengeance LPX RAM, high speed DDR4. Uh, these should fit right into the slots here nicely. Um, so uh, 32 gigabytes ought to be great. It ought to work really fine, especially for video editing and things like that. And um, so yeah, that is the RAM I chose. And graphics card. Let's see here, for this I chose the Gigabyte brand GeForce RTX. It is a 2060 from NVIDIA. Um, this is a very good high speed card. It has uh, six gigabytes of video RAM, which is pretty good stuff. Um, I bought the small form factor one uh, because I was expecting to put it in my last PC, which didn't have very much room, and uh, the PC just couldn't handle it. So uh, it should have no problem fitting into this one. I guess, as a matter of fact, with this motherboard, I could easily fit a full size graphics card in here, but this is the mini form factor. It only has one fan on it and one heat sink. Um, but it is uh, super powerful and uh, that should provide some great gaming and uh, should improve all of my flight simulators very greatly. And I'm looking forward to popping that in. And last but not least, it's always easy to forget that um, you're going to need some kind of a thumb drive or something. Um, this is a 16 gigabyte thumb drive that I got at Walmart for like $6. It was super cheap, I couldn't believe it. Um, on this, of course, I'm going to use this to make a Windows 10 boot stick out of it. Uh, I've already put a Windows 10 installer on there, so uh, the first time I boot up the computer, I'm going to stick that in the USB, and then um, that should install Windows 10, and then I'll have a functioning operating system. When I'm done, I'm going to take a little piece of tape and put it on here and uh, just stick it somewhere inside the case in conspicuous light so I always have it. Um, that way if I ever need to reinstall Windows or if I need to repair the system in any way, it's all right there and um, I won't have to use it for anything else. All right, there you have it. All the components that I bought to put together this gaming PC of mine. Um, this is the end of part one. We'll get together tomorrow when I have time to assemble it uh, for part two. We'll put this beast together and uh, get it all up and running. That should be good. And goodbye for now. We'll see you in a little bit. Don't forget, a very wise man once said, your focus determines your reality. So please spend a little time focusing on some positive things in your life things that make you happy and uh, it makes a big difference. Okay, thank you. See you tomorrow.